I've got this great Pajitsky effect. Oh, I've been dying to hear it. Oh, my fuck. This one. I mean. Pajitsky Oh, yeah. Effect. I forgot how we had those. You guys, I don't know if I've ever, if this person's related to me. Hazel wrote this in. And man, this just hits home. I, this is so specifically immigrant. Nadavi, maybe you have this in your family. I don't know. This is so fucking immigrant. <sighs> Hello, my big titted animal. I have an immigrant slash poor Pajitsky effect. Growing up, my mother would open condensed milk with the pointy ends of a can opener. One slit on each side. Did your parents do that? Mm, no, we always had the 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 turntable. My dad did this, and then, and then she writes, then she would blow into one side, forcing the condensed milk out of the can. It wasn't until I was in my 20s when watching people online make random recipes that I realized that you can fully open the fucking can of condensed milk and scoop it out with a spoon. When I asked my mom about why she does this, she just said it's easier to store if you only use half a can. Bruh, was it really worth all that effort just to store a fucking can on the off chance you don't use the whole can? A can of condensed milk costs about a dollar. Piss on me, beat me, Hazel. Hazel, I think you and I related... My father, I would watch him get a can of condensed milk and do the same thing, one slit on one side, one on the other, but this nasty motherfucker would drink it straight out of the can, condensed milk, and then put it back, and I would watch him work down that can over the course of like two weeks. And it was it's so specific that I'm really, this must be like a German, you're German, Hazel is German, I'm assuming. So my dad was born in Germany, so I'm assuming this is, and my grandmother was German, What? It, it, was this like a after dinner? Like he would take yeah. an after dinner sip of condensed this, milk? This is his sweets. So like my dad, it was so gross. And this was his form of sweets, the condensed milk. And then, or he would just take a jelly, like a jar of jelly and just take a spoonful of jelly and then put it back in. Bro, that's so Wait, immigrant. I no! Think, I think I need a, can you pull up a picture of I what condensed it. milk I don't is? think Americans oh, okay. are. I'm, gl I'm glad I'm not the only person. I don't used to put it on sorbet <laughs> okay. I don't know what the stuff. Is. Me like neither. ice cream. So we it's would drizzle it. It's usually this Eagle Brown one, and it's it's like it tastes like it's thick milk that's very very sweet, and you can put it on top of like like la la lechera that shit, like um, oh. cakes and you know tres leches whatever you put the fucking condensed milk on it shit. It, just, it tastes good. It tastes good as shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> By tastes itself, taking swigs though, I don't know. So you're that's saying crazy. like you put a <laughs> hole in the middle and then. Chug you not even in the on middle. one end and on the other end for like a air to cycle through so it could pour out easy. Like the physics of it. Mm -hmm. But I then mean. just taking sips of it, like oh. that's that's wild. Like this is such a specific immigrant behavior. I, I'm blown away, Hazel, that you had a family member that did this. Because I watched him do this and I was like, surely he's the only human on planet Earth. <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, my wife discovered iced tea last week. We were traveling around Maui with a friend who kept ordering it. On the last day of our trip, she inquired as to what our friend kept ordering. The words, oh, it's literally cold tea, came out of her mouth. <laughs> she tried it and loved it and excitedly <laughs> explained to the table that she loves tea but hates drinking hot beverages. <laughs> we all asked, well, what did you think iced tea was? <laughs> she thought it was some type of alternative sweet beverage, like juice or something. She had no idea you could just brew black tea and stick it in the fridge. <laughs> it's totally something I would do. I'd be like, oh my God, that's just cold tea? That's so funny. <sighs> I love it. All right, Paul. Thank you, Paul. That's so fun, Paul. It's so fun. That's Speaking so of fun, fun. <laughs> can you please play a Pajitsky effect voicemail? Hi, this is Tina calling from San Francisco, and I just have two Pajitsky effects because the first is I have really bad dermatillocelia, so I pick at my fingers and toes constantly, Ooh. and I was always kind of embarrassed of my hands because it gets really bad, and I had a friend actually suggest, why not just use hand cream? Uh, so I started using moisturizer, and lo and behold, my hands are cured. So, uh, <laughs> who would have thought I could just fucking use moisturizer? <laughs> the second is, uh, I would often re wear leggings because I only had so many. And I started getting 
yeast infections, and I had no idea why. So uh, I put yogurt in my cooch, actually, trying to solve that, when I realized I could just buy more leggings. Wow. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for all the laughs. Love you. Uh, keep them high and tight, and you bet I'm coming up in May. <gasps> Yeah, you can use lotion for dry hands, and you can buy many leggings. Like, they're very reasonably priced, Wait, old she's navy. saying she was wearing dirty leggings? Yeah, like, she only get like she thought that she could only own, like, one pair. And you wear them over and over, and you get infections, and she's like, oh, I can just buy many. Yeah, that's a classic Pajitsky effect. Classic. Where you're like, yeah, yeah I can own more we than one. We can buy more than one thing. Oh, my God. Mm. And speaking of, I, because I'm a really bad night sweater, I sweat a lot at night. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, dude, I, because I'm sweating through my jammies every night, I should be like buying them regularly. It's basically like wearing athletic clothing to, to, to bed. Oh. Yeah. So I bought, I bought like a whole new set and I'm like, yeah, you know, you shouldn't keep these forever. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Pajamas are not forever clothing items. And for some reason I like, I've been holding on to pairs I've had since like you know, a decade or something. That's a Pajitsky effect. Yeah, I'm fucking crazy. Okay. Wow, yeah, no, I don't I don't really buy that many pajamas, but I love to just wear a big t-shirt. Same, me, yeah. It's mm -hmm. been a long time. Okay, one okay. more Pajitsky effect. I do love these. Hey, Jeans, it's Tiana from Alaska. Hi. I'm calling with a Pajitsky effect. Um, we're a family of three, and I often use minute rice for dinner and on the back of the box it says for four servings use two cups of rice two cups of water um so i've just been doing that and then i have this extra like half cup of rice that no one wants to eat and i end up throwing out i didn't realize until today it's just equal parts rice and water so <laughs> i can just make one and a half cups of rice and everyone will eat it and that's be no something i would do <laughs> i'm fucking retarded <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good day. That's funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. Are you like? I would do that. Do you even have the um, idea where you're like, I want, I want macaroni and cheese, but I don't want to make the whole box. Like, you don't have to. You yeah. can make half the box yeah. and then use like half the orange and then yeah. put it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. the rice. Yeah. Because I, I. I do the same thing, but I, cause I, I kept, didn't realize like you can do the math to compute right. what you <laughs> want to do. Right. You're like, just follow directions. I got to follow what it says on the box. <laughs> All right. Let's do one more. Those are so much fun. Hi, Christina. Um, I had a Pajitsky effect that hit me recently. So when I go into the grocery store thinking I'm only going to pick up a few things, I'll grab like a, the small handheld shopping basket. And inevitably, I remember, oh, I forgot I need milk and paper towels, et cetera, and start throwing more things than I expected into the basket until it's so heavy that I can actually <laughs> barely lift it. And I've actually pulled a muscle in my arm doing this <laughs> multiple times over the years. And then here's the worst part. I would decide I'm going to use the self-checkout. Oh, fuck so that. So bring everything up myself. And then have to carry all the bags out to my car because you can't take the handheld shopping basket outside to help you. So, <laughs> you know, if I had just used the bigger push shopping cart originally, none of this would have happened. And I've been doing this for years. So <laughs> I just learned you can use the push shopping cart every time, even if it's a small grocery shopping. Oh all right. Piss on me. Beat me. Bye, Jean. How many fucking times have I done that? I feel like every I was like, time. Yeah, Nadav nodding too. Every that is so time. relatable. Yeah. Every time. I always grab the thing because I'm like, it's just, I'm just getting a little bit. But here's what I've discovered over the years is that even just the act of carrying it, even if there is one or two things in it, fucking sucks. Yeah. Like, especially if you have a purse and that stupid thing. Now you're like, ugh. I'm like, yeah. Box. So I just. I now automatically, too, just get the shopping cart. Even if it's, like, the tiny one, there's, like, tiny versions. I like the tiny version Sames. better. Yeah. Put your fucking purse in there. No one's going to steal it if you're close to it. Yeah. And then just get on with your life. <laughs> it's so relatable. <sighs> also, what I've discovered, like, I when I when if I do go to the grocery store, I never buy, like, bulk water or bulk you know, Topo Chico bottles or whatever the fuck. I always Instacart it so that I don't have to carry it. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Did you like that highlight? I mean, how much fun was that? Why don't you watch a bunch more? We made a bunch more for you to watch. And then why don't you subscribe to my show? Subscribe to where my mom's at. That way, every time I drop an episode, you get, you just get it. You don't have to think about it. And then hit the notification bell so you can get notified of all the great stuff that I make. Watch other highlights. Treat yourself. Get your life right.